Hi everyone, this is Professor Smith, and in this lesson I'm going to give you the recipe for successfully solving a game theory matrix. So here we have two firms in an oligopoly. Remember an oligopoly is an industry where you have a few large firms, so each one has a large market share, and they're all competing against each other. So here we have just two firms, we'll call them Firm A and Firm B. And what they have are two different pricing strategies, which we've, we've simplified to pricing low or pricing high. Now, the way that you interpret a game box like this, let's take a look at this first cell right here. The number on the left, so we have a pair of numbers here, the, the 2,000 on the left is going to represent the profit to firm A. The number on the right which of the pair, which would be 1,000, is going to represent the profit to firm B if the firms play the pricing strategies in the corresponding row or column. Okay, So in other words, if let's say we're in this cell here, that means firm A has priced low, firm B has priced high, and therefore firm A, which is the number on the left, gets 2,000 in profit, and then firm B would get 1,000. Okay, so the question is, what, what are these firms actually going to do? Which pricing strategy, low or high, are they going to choose? The basic approach is to find what we call the Nash equilibrium. And that's when each firm plays its best strategy given what the other firm is doing. Now, here is the cookbook. What I would do is I would highlight mentally, or literally I'm going to do it in Excel here by shading the row. Let's say that firm A is pricing low. Okay, now take a look at firm B's options. It can either price high or price low. If it prices high, it would get the number on the right here of 1,000. If it prices low, it would get the number on the right of this pair, which would be 1,600. Now you always want to ask yourself, which is the better payoff? 1,600 is a higher profit than 1,000. So firm B is going to price low given that firm A has priced low. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Excel's bolding just to kind of help us notate that 1600 is the higher profit and firm B is going to price low. Now suppose firm A prices high. Let's again highlight that row. Firm B can price high and get 1800 Again, that's the rightmost number of the pair. Or can price low and get 2,000. 2,000 is better than 1,800. So that means firm B is going to price low if firm A priced high. I'm going to use the bolding technique, which is a neat thing to do in Excel here, just to indicate that, again, if firm A prices high, firm B is better off pricing low. Now let's run the same trick going in the opposite direction. So in other words, I'm going to highlight this column because that means firm B has decided to price high. Now I want to compare the two numbers on the left-hand side to figure out which is the better strategy for firm A. Firm A could price low and get 2,000 or price high and get 1,800. 2,000 is the better profit. So firm A would price low and I'm going to bold that outcome. Now we're almost done because there's only one option left, and that's if firm B decides to price low. Again, I want to compare the two numbers on the left-hand side for firm A's profits to figure out what it should do. So if firm A prices low, it gets 1,600. If firm A prices high, it gets only 1,000. 1,600 is better than 1,000. So I'm going to put the bold there. Now, wherever you have two bolds, the corresponding strategies are going to be a Nash equilibrium because we went through it column and row to figure out what the best strategy would be for each firm. Okay, so the answer to the first part of the question is actually that firm A prices low and firm B prices low. Okay, so that's kind of going to be our, def 
that's going to be in this example that's like the default outcome we would predict okay now oftentimes the Nash equilibrium is not not what gives you the highest joint profit for example draw your eye from the 1600 1600 outcome that's a total of 3200 for the two firms combined is there an outcome that gives more combined profits not this outcome that's 3000 total not this outcome that's 3000 total but this outcome gives me 3600 so actually there's what we call a cooperative equilibrium here where firm a price is high and firm b decides to price high for example they could get together and maybe have a tacit agreement where if one firm sets a high price, the other firm will follow. Now, firms are not legally allowed to have written agreements, that's what we call collusion, um, to charge a high price, but they are allowed to kind of test out different prices and see whether another firm will follow, okay? So in this case, the cooperative equilibrium would be that both firms price high, because again, the combined outcome is a 3600 profit that's better than the 3200. So that begs the final question of how do you get cooperation in business? Typically you have to have repeated interactions with someone, right? If you're only playing a game like this with a, another business entity one time and you're never going to have an interaction with that entity again, you're going to go Nash equilibrium. You're going to price low because you just want to try to get as much as you can for yourself. But if you play with that entity or person over time, you're more likely to each get into a pricing high type of, uh, of agreement. You could try to set up a, an enforcement mechanism where if you agree, let's say, to price high and one firm decides to undercut you, that maybe there's something you can do to, to punish them, to lower their profits further. In the real world, that's a lot easier said than done. But if there was some kind of agreement that allowed that, uh, had that mechanism, that could get cooperation. And simply other strategies like what we call the tit for tat, which basically says, hey, if you cooperate, I'm going to cooperate. If you don't cooperate, I'm not going to cooperate. And you just be consistent like that. You can often get to cooperation. So, again, if you just kind of follow this, this kind of four part, you know, shade the row, then look at what the best strategy is for the other player and then bold your results, you will always get to the Nash equilibrium.